the West and never remembers them anymore. <laughs> well, glory. I thought sometimes the various things, but I don't like being accused. And some things I've learned in my walk with the Lord and still learning. I still will be learning. Amen. But there are some things the devil, if you're not careful, he'll try to have you. If he could accuse you of something, he'll almost, he'll play with your fickle feelings and try to have you accuse yourself. Mm -hmm. well, he'll have you at times to come back around and tell you certain old lies and whisper into your ears, your spirit, and tell you at times, even though at times he might say no sooner than after you got saved, you didn't get a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you see, I never, I always had an in-how, I had a witness. Saw the whole thing. <laughs> the whole, Holy Ghost, his spirit beareth witness with my spirit. And he said, he said, you don't have a thing. But that voice rising up on the inside and said, yes, you do. He said, you were a child of God. Remember when you knelt down there at that altar in 1994? And it is one I may not remember, my physical birth, but my spiritual birth is one I shall not forget. Amen. I said, can I get a witness? And the Holy Ghost on the inside said, yes, you are. You're a child of the King. Amen. You've been bought and paid for by the precious blood of the Lamb. He'll play with your feelings. You see, the Holy Ghost will convict you of sin. You're not careful sinners out here. The devil will use them. If you don't really know the word of God, they'll be trying to tell you that you're sinning. <laughs> Amen. They'll have you, the old devil, have you play with them feelings and, and bring guilt upon you and condemnation. And he'll just try to ride upon you and try to beat you down. Amen. Bible says, though, Romans 8, verse 1, there is therefore no condemnation. <laughs> Amen. There is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And then always there is, you are careful, you've got to be careful. Some people I've heard, they come up, and I appreciate their consciousness, even Christians at times. And they'll tell me sometimes, oh brother, they told me a certain thing, and they'll come back around and say, I told you wrong, I told you a lie. I said, did you tell me? I said, what do you mean? You told me a lie. Said, well, well, I didn't mean to, but I told you certain so-and-so date, and I couldn't or something, it wasn't right. I said, well, did you mean to? They said, no, I didn't mean to. Well, then you didn't lie. Hmm? You didn't intentionally. God knows the intents of your heart. The Bible said a man knoweth to do good and doeth not, it is sin. Amen. If you knew it and deliberately tell me something false, it's a lie. And that's what everything false. The devil is a liar. He's the father of all lies. Don't let the devil cheat you out of what God's got for you. Others come along and many of them at times they accuse you. And that old time bring up an accusation. And at times when someone brings a charge against you or you, this is how you deal with the false accusations. The first thing that you do like in our judicial system and law out here today is you have certain, you're entitled to certain rights. Remember that. You are, are, have certain rights. The Bill of Rights and so forth, when the law, if you live in a rural, then if the city, it's the police. If it's out in the rural area, you know it's the sheriff. But if the sheriff, if someone brings a charge and makes an accusation and brings a charge against you, if that sheriff comes out to your house and says, Sir, I'm sorry, the first thing he's going to do is read you what? <laughs> He's going to start reading to you some things. And he says, you have a right. At times, you have a right to remain silent. And if you give up that right at any time, <laughs> you say anything you say can and will be used against you. And that's just some of it, right? They got to read their, your Miranda rights. They got to read those to you. And they recite those to you. And they let you know and aware. The devil, what sometimes we do as people, we're not careful, we try to defend ourselves. 
We're so quick when we hear certain things and slander or someone's trying to ruin our reputation or testimony, we want to take matters in our own hands. Remember, flesh, you're not in it. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. You're not against your neighbor next door. Amen. It's not your boss at work. It's a spiritual matter. You're, you're dealing with spiritual warfare in heavenly places. Even like here in the text, Michael and them contended in the heavenly realm, in the supernatural realm. You're dealing with forces that are beyond you. And it is sometimes, oh, you read. You need to do what many, the same way, like a type in the world, you've got to plead the fifth. The plead the fifth is meaning you don't have to testify against yourself. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything at all. I want to, I've got an entitlement I'm going to make. I've got a one call. I'd like to make one call. And I'm entitled to make a call. Amen. And when there's old accusation against you, you've got to realize, even though sometimes, even like the Bible said in 1 John 2 verse 1, my little children, he said, I pray that you sin not. But if you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father. You have a lawyer, amen? Don't ever try to represent yourself. Don't ever try to defend yourself. If you quickly will sit there and say, I didn't do that, and so they're still not gonna believe you. You cannot chase down every rumor and everything that's said against me and you. You've got to turn it over to a higher power. When accusations and railing and slander comes against you, you know who I'm going to make a call, Brother Taylor. I'm going to make a call. I'm gonna call up on the name of the Lord, amen. I I'm going to call up on Jesus. Woo! <laughs> his ear is never heavy in his hand. It's never short. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, he is always, he neither slumbers nor does he sleep. I've got to make a call. I'm going to call out upon the Lord. Amen. I'm going to call the heavy hitter. I'm going to call the man. I'm going to call him. He's my lawyer. He's my defense attorney. He's going to represent me in the heavenly realm. And even though that old devil's a plaintiff himself and stands there before and he's on the left hand and to the left hand and while at times the defendant is on the right hand. That's why the jury box in the courtroom is always on the right. You're always innocent until proven guilty. But you know what? Sometimes you can just be guilty. Huh? Amen? Not all sometimes are false. It's not always false. Sometimes it can be true. Let's just be honest. Sometimes we see it. Amen? But you got to get your lawyer, don't you? He's ready to represent you. And I'm here sometimes to say, I know the devil's been saying this and what others have been saying and various things around me. But you know what? More importantly, I want to see what he has to say. Amen. I say the Lord in Revelation verse 20, I say the Lord said a time he is able to shut him up. Amen. I say the Lord can shut him up. I say he can silence the devil. <laughs> he can shut the lion's mouth. I want to see 